That's right. You got it. Picanha. Picanha is a wonderful, wonderful cut of meat that is so popular these days that Brazil kind of put that on the map when they start opening steakhouses all over the United States. Now, I remember many years ago, um, the way people used to do picanha also too, in different regions of Latin America, Central America, different countries. For instance, this one I'm gonna share with you is, um, you go in a restaurant, pretty much outdoors, and it depends how many people it's with you, four, five, six, 10, or whatever, they gotta order one or two or three or four, okay? How it works is um, they bring all these different side dishes between cheese, avocado sauce, hot sauce, um, corn patties, um, all kind of different stuff, okay? And then the waiter starts slicing this meat, okay? So what they do next to the table, they put a little grill, and in Spanish called anafre, which is like a grill, okay? Got the charcoal, everything going, open fire. So he goes around, start cutting the meat, and start asking people, sir, medium rare, well done, how do you like it? This way, this way. So what he does start slicing this meat and put it on the grill. And then he goes around, start serving people. He takes his happy time doing it. The whole concept with this here, um, is for people to enjoy their time with their families, okay? And this can go sometimes for over an hour, hour and a half, when people <clears throat> people talking, having a good time, and they join themselves. Now, due to what's going on these days, um, I think the time limit in a restaurant, I don't know, different parts of the world, here in America, uh, I think about 35 to 40 minutes, and after that, you have to get out. The reason why is because you gotta mess up the rotation for this restaurant. So is that such a thing? The concept here with this is for you to enjoy your family, your friends, okay? And um, it's right here, guys. This is one of the most popular uh, meats right now, cuts going on. This is the cup round on the top of the, of the cow, okay? And um, they have different ways to prepare. For instance, in Brazil, what they do here is they cut this very thick, right? And they bend it like a horseshoe and put a skewer right through. When it's done, you slice that meat right on the table, as most of you guys know. In Latin America, what they do, they cut the same size, and what they do, they do another cut right in the middle and open that steak like it's butterfly. Now, you can do this indoors, outdoors. It really don't matter. It depends how you do it, enjoy it. So, this is very popular, okay? And by the way, it's not too expensive. Um, but the flavors in this, the reason why is because as you see this cup here with the fat, it just melts when you're cooking this and really punch a flavor on the meat. Pretty much the way I do it, just salt, that's it. Open fire, and that's the way we're gonna do it. Also, I'm gonna do a side dish. It's just a sauce that I'm gonna do with some grilled vegetables. I'm gonna mix a little sauce with that. I'll show you the way we're gonna do it. And that is a compliment for the meat. In the meantime, we're gonna be doing this beautiful asparagus, okay? Look at this. I'm gonna cook this. We're gonna cook this guys, blanks them, and then what I'll do is, I like to cut them in, in little pieces like that, little tiny squares. And then we mix it with a bunch of seasonings and serve that. Now you can serve that hot, you can serve it cold, it don't matter, okay? Hey, if you're new to the channel, please don't, surf, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and make sure you guys hit the like button. So, with that said, my friends, let's cook. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we got going on, all the ingredients, and then um, we're gonna do a special side dish. 
but I'm gonna be doing it. We have a special guest in the house. Very proud. This is my son Aaron. Just got back from deployment from the Middle East with the United States Navy. Aaron, you gonna be doing the side dish? Yeah. Wonderful. So the side dish, it's gonna be asparagus. It's all you. All right, so let me walk you through what we got going on here, guys. Let me go ahead and tilt this camera a little bit. There we go. So now, we do have one onion, tomato. We gotta grill that. A nice pepper and fresh cilantro, like always. This is your picanha right here, okay? So what I like to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy a little bit and drain this. Here. So there we go. This one, believe it or not, don't have too much. So now there's your pecan. Look at this. Beautiful. Now normally this one here, the fat is up at this high. This one is not that way. So that's pretty cool. Now, what I like to do is gonna pat this meat here a little bit. I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna flip it here. I'm gonna dry. Look at how beautiful is this. There we go. And dry it. And now we're good to go. The next thing we're gonna do here, if you see the grind of this meat goes this way, okay? You always wanna go the opposite way, opposite way, opposite way, always. So I'm gonna flip this here, take this guy out of here, and we're gonna do cut number one, right here. Now, we're gonna do a little thicking here. And look at how beautiful this come. Look at this thick, look at this. It's perfect thickness. We're gonna do another one here. One more here. And one more right here. Okay, now these little guys in here, what do you do after they're ready to go? You can cut them in squares, okay? Fit perfectly. Now, there's all you meat. All we gotta do here now it's gonna be salt. We're gonna salt these guys, okay? Very good. Perfect. I'm using sea salt. It's one of my favorites. And then, don't be afraid. Just put some salt in there, okay? Now, so this meat is ready to go on an open fire, okay? We're gonna cook this slow, open fire in the grill. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start a fire right now. We're gonna start our fire. So what I like to do, I use this guy here and fire away here in the bottom. That should be enough. This is ready to go. If you don't have any of these things, where can you go to get them? I want the soggy 
Oh. Somebody might not know exactly where to get that at. You can get those in the hardware store, any hardware store. You wanna like do two cuts? All right. And if you guys are wondering where you can get any of this stuff, you can get them at your local hardware store like Ace. Ace Hardware Store, Home Depot, or Lowe's. All right, so now we're on to the asparagus. So there's gonna be a couple steps you guys are gonna have to do. First things first, then, so I'm gonna wash my hands. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Always make sure whenever you're handling food or any kind of produce, whatever, you want clean hands. So step one, done. All right, so now we're gonna cut it. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna cut it. Oh, thank you. You gotta end the video. Edit. All right, so we're gonna cut our asparagus. So you're gonna line them up, and one of the first things you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off about an inch. The reason you're gonna cut off the root, because inch is about the root. <clears throat> the reason you're cutting off the root is because you're not gonna cook all the way. So you want to make sure you cut off the roots. Now, as soon as we're done with these, we're gonna put them in some boiling water we have off to the side that's been lightly salted. And then we're gonna let that cook for about five minutes. Once it's done cooking, we're gonna also go ahead and put it in some ice cold water. And that's gonna keep it from, from cooking way past what we want. And then it's gonna prevent it from getting too soft. So get rid of these and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the water. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys in the water. So we're gonna go ahead and cook them for about five minutes. And once they're done, we're gonna remove them and put them in some cold water to keep them from getting too soft from overcooking. There's that. All right, so now back to the asparagus. So we got our asparagus here in the boiling water. We kind of turned it off, so now it's not boiling anymore. We got our ice water. So now we're going to transfer these over. And we're just gonna let these chill for about five minutes. It's gonna prevent them from getting too soft from overcooking. That's pretty much it. There you have it. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start our meat. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna throw in here our onions, tomato, onion, tomatoes, and voila. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this meat, guys. It's a couple of minutes for each side. That's what we look for, okay? It depends if you're gonna do medium rare. Good good see a good cross in there. Almost there, guys. A couple more minutes, we're ready to go. Okay, in the meantime, so all vegetables are grilled. We're gonna go ahead and dump them here. 
right there. About four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna do fresh cilantro. Okay. Olive oil. Fresh pepper. Splash of vinegar. Okay. And then half of this beautiful lemon juice. Yeah. Try to keep the seeds in there. Now, in the meantime, go ahead and go ahead now. Guys, salt. Sorry. There we go. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and blend everything here. And then you gotta taste and see if you need more salt, pepper, or anything in here, okay? Let's go ahead and blend these guys in here. That should be fine. So let's go ahead and taste. Wow. Wow. You can feel the charcoal from the grill inside this thing. Um, believable. So we're gonna do Just pour that here in this bowl. Look at that. Beautiful. Huh? This is your complement with your steak. Okay? All right, guys, and here we are. We got the asparagus. We let it chill for about five minutes. Now we just put it in this bowl. So here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead, take it all out, and move this over here. And just like we had before, cutting off the roots, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna just cut all the way through. So let's go ahead and get this nice and evened out. And we're gonna go ahead and go. We'll just do this a little bit at a time. Shouldn't really have to to chop too hard or anything. You should honestly just be using the weight of the blade. You should kind of just go through almost like butter. All right. So once we're done here, I'm gonna put all this. Actually, we'll go ahead and use this. This will be a lot easier. So we're gonna go ahead and throw everything in here. hard to grab <laughs> so got everything in here so now we're gonna do something a little special <clears throat> we're gonna add a little bit of salt and add some fresh ground pepper and some olive oil to top it off and then just mix it all up.
And there you have it. All right, guys. The beautiful open fire grilled picanha is ready. As you see, there's all the meat here. So we gotta go ahead and uh, slice this guy. Take a look. This is perfection. You won't believe how wonderful is this guy here. Look at this color. Look at that. Perfect, medium rare every time. So with that said, let me go ahead and uh, serve this dish so you guys can see the way we do it. guys there you have it hey i do hope you like it like i said take a quick look at this guy here you'll really enjoy this okay i know mashed potato was not in the weather here but we had that in there too it's okay you deserve a good meal i know you do so this is very tender very I'll show you the flavor here is beyond reality. Look at this. Look at the sear and the steak. Wonderful, huh? What do you know? You want to look, see that color? You want to get, let the charcoal do the work. Watch this. Super tender. Lots of flavor. It's a wonderful thing. Follow this recipe step by step. You have one of the best steaks ever. Simple, quick, and easy. I have company. Can we go eat? Yes, we're gonna eat right now. All right. Hey, don't forget my friends. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share with friends and family. And like I always said, you, you deserve a good meal. You deserve a good meal. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.